What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and I just finished watching the Facebook keynote and so in this video I want to give you a summary of the keynote. I want to break down the major updates for you. I want to give you my thoughts on it and show you what trades I just made this morning. Here is everything you need to know. Let's go. Okay, so when it comes to this keynote, they did a really good job of it. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg spoke for most of it and they have officially one-upped Apple on the innovative transition. So Nice job to Facebook there, it was well organized, but let's get to the elephant in the room. Did they change their name to something else? Yes, they did. They changed their name from Facebook to Meta, M-E-T-A, with this logo right here, which I assume is supposed to represent like infinity, so you can do whatever you want, as well as maybe a VR headset or like a portal for your eyes. I have no idea, but this is what it looks like. This is the new logo. And Mark Zuckerberg made, made us watch an hour and a half presentation just to get to that. But there was a lot of other good things in there. It was actually a really good presentation and it was really cool. So the metaverse, if you don't know what that is, you definitely need to check out my last video where I talked about 10 stocks in the metaverse and I explained what it is. But basically it's an online world. It's the next iteration of the internet and it is a virtual space where you can go into the space, you can meet with other people, you can experience different things and you can be inside of a virtual space that is called the metaverse and that is kind of that is what facebook deems is the next version of the internet the first version was when you could post online and other people could see it the second version of the internet was designed to connect people so like facebook chat and facetime and things like that that was connecting people and the third version of the internet is going and experiencing the internet from a digital world so that is what facebook is claiming and the metaverse is here it already exists and it is only going to grow and facebook is kind of focusing on four different pillars of the metaverse so the first pillar is communicating and connecting people. So if you need to go and call your girlfriend or you need to go and see your mom, you can do it in the metaverse. They are trying to connect people and build ways to connect and help people communicate. On top of that, they had an entire section dedicated to fitness and you actually got to see Mark Zuckerberg surfing the waves in virtual reality on his on his little paddleboard. I don't know what the right name for it is, but it was actually a pretty cool animation. They are also really focusing on work. So if you need to collaborate or you are working from home or you need to get a project done with other people around the world, you can go into the metaverse and you can do work. You can also get education. So imagine university class, where instead of driving 40 minutes to your university, all you have to do is put on your headset and now you're in your virtual classroom. I think there's a lot of cool things there. And then experiences, this includes things like video games, as well as concerts, as well as events, conferences, things like that. There's a whole lot of things that you can do with the metaverse and Facebook is focusing on these sort of four pillars. At least that's what I gathered from the presentation. Now, when it comes to major updates, this was a big statement from Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg came out and said they are basically investing everything into the metaverse and into the development of the metaverse. They're going to be a metaverse company. They're not a social media company. They are much, much larger than that and it is very exciting. And what I gather from this is they are trying to basically be the iPhone of the metaverse. Now, I don't say iPhone like Apple, like a device, but the iPhone changed how we interact with both the internet and the cell phone. And I think that Facebook is trying to change how we interact with the internet as well as basically the device that we carry or the device that we use such as our computer or our cell phones. They're going to put everything there into augmented reality, virtual reality and the metaverse. Now, a couple more updates here. The new VR headset is coming out next year. It is codenamed Project Cambria. This is a very high-end headset. It is going to be more expensive than the Quest. It is supposed to be the testing ground for all of the latest VR technology. That comes out next year. They're also developing new augmented reality glasses. Those are coming soon, and they did a ton of demos with those glasses, and it's kind of cool. You're like sitting there with the glasses on, and you look at your computer. It tracks your eyeballs, or you look at your TV, so Sorry. It tracks your eyeballs. It knows that you're looking at the TV and when you either push a button or you make a movement, it will turn the TV on and it's using all of that power inside of the glasses. So that is really cool. And then something that blew me away was photorealistic avatars. So right now, all of the avatars are like video game avatars or they're like animated bubble type avatars. And Facebook showed some technology here where they are very quite literally getting very realistic avatars. Now I tried to think about how I could show you a video of this or a photo of it, but if I just showed you a photo of it, you would literally think 
it's a photo. You wouldn't think it's an avatar. It was that good. So if you want to see that, go watch the full presentation. But I don't think we're very far off, or at least a couple years away, from getting fully realistic avatars so that you couldn't tell if I was real or fake, if I was next to it and you had a headset on. Like, it would be really, really impressive. And then on top of that, they showed a couple cool demos of like Mark Zuckerberg walking through his virtual home with his NFTs on the wall. And that was pretty sweet. He also had a virtual metaverse pet that he told to sit and walk around and stuff like that. I'll throw up a screenshot right now. That was pretty wild. I never thought of that, but imagine, Imagine your house with all of your NFTs, with all of your collectibles, your Ferrari, anything you want in there, and it has a pet or a fish or an aquarium, or you can go swimming with a jellyfish, like all these crazy things that like probably don't have a huge commercial benefit, but they would just be really cool to do. You can do all of that, and, and they know that, and they showed off some of those cool features, so I thought that was pretty sweet. And they also announced, I think this is really cool, but Facebook is putting their development courses on Coursera. Coursera is a public company, C-O-U-R, that I have a position in that I have told you about on this YouTube channel and that I've talked about several times on the YouTube channel as well as the watch list. And Coursera stock right now is up like 6 or 7%. So I'm doing really good. I'm really happy with it. And if you want to hear about companies like that, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Make sure you like this video. I sincerely appreciate it. Now, next is my thoughts. Here is what I think after watching that full presentation. Number one, the metaverse is going to be absolutely massive. I just released a video about the 10 metaverse companies that I am watching or buying. I just watched through this entire presentation and I've never been more convinced that the metaverse is going to be absolutely massive. I think this is gonna be a very big deal and the technology is only going to get better and I think it's gonna get better very quickly. They showed a couple of video games on there um, where it's like first person shooters or adventure games and you're a Viking and stuff like that. And it looks like what the Nintendo 64 looked like when I was a kid. So the graphics aren't great. It's super, it's a little bit choppy and a little bit blocky, but you're in virtual reality. You're literally immersed in the world and you're walking around inside of the world. So it's a whole nother level, but the graphics are where they were on the N64 and it did not take very long for that to improve. And I think that acceleration is only gonna happen more quickly here and so, I am super, super optimistic that virtual reality is gonna be a very large part of our future and I've, I'm almost 100% sure that the metaverse is going to be a drastic changer towards how we look at the internet over the next five to 10 years. I do think it's gonna take some time, it's gonna be slow, it's gonna progress gradually and it's gonna slowly accelerate. I think we're at the beginning, I am investing my money into the metaverse right now, but I do think this is going to be a big impact over the next five to 10 years. And I think this presentation from Facebook just solidified it and I think they're going to accelerate it because there's a lot of other companies already working on this space, but Facebook, does feel like one of the leaders. Now, my trades. Today, I actually bought Facebook stock. If you, I'm gonna pull up the stock chart here in just one second. It is bouncing off some previous resistance. It's a nice sign. So I bought some stock for the long term, and then for the short term in my margin account, I also bought some options with a 360 strike price and an expiration in September of 2022. Now, the reason that I bought those options is because I have a 360 strike price. It cost me about $25 to get into those options. And so my break even is right around $385. And so if the price gets back up to the previous highs, which were 384.33, if we even just get close to that level within a one year time period, I'm going to do extremely well on those options. I also plan to hold the Facebook stock long term. I think this company is going in the right direction. I think the metaverse is going to be huge and I like it. If you look here, the Facebook stock got rejected at 305 in September of 2020. It traded sideways, it finally broke out to 384, and now it has pulled back to that exact same level of 305. We actually tested it this morning. The stock has had a nice day after this presentation. I think it's gonna go higher over the next few months, so I bought the stock for the long term and I bought the options for the kind of short to medium term. Now, if you wanna see any more of my trades or my analysis, definitely consider signing up for my Discord chat. That's where I'm posting all of my trades, all of my charts, and I'm trying to build a community of traders to share our due diligence, share our research, and so that we're all not sitting at home alone, we have a community to go to to share our trades and get some inspiration. So if you're looking for something like that, it's $5 per month. The link is in the description down below. I've also got a ton of other resources down there, so definitely check it out. And this is all my thoughts, so definitely Take it with a grain of salt. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, click that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck trading. Good luck investing. And we'll see you guys soon.